All right, so I'm doing a little bit of rod organization, um, getting actually ready for a trip tomorrow. And I know y'all don't think I read the comments, but I read the comments, I'm telling y'all. So this came up several times, and I get it, man. A lot of my viewers, you guys don't have the, um, the access to go buy, you know, 15, 20 combos, man. I get it, this stuff's crazy expensive. And so multiple times, I've seen it requested where it's like, hey, Mark, give us a video if you could only pick three, three rods, right? What would those three rods be? And so as I sit here and get my stuff together for tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the three rods that I would pick if it were me uh, and why I'm gonna pick those. So right here, this is pretty much my staple for right now. I got a bunch of rods in my coffin and stuff right there too. But, you know, during the off season, this is what I'm fishing with day in and day out. And so if I could only pick three, I wanna give you guys that. Um, the first one I'm gonna grab is this guy right here. And I currently got a spinnerbait tied on it. This is a, a seven foot medium heavy action, favorite uh, pro series. Now look, you guys can use any brand you want to. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to force the, the favorite brand on you. I'm just, obviously these are my rods, so this is what I have. But what's important is the actions and the versatility of the rod is why I'm picking a three. So this is a seven foot medium heavy rod. I got a spinnerbait on here but I can easily cut this spinnerbait off. I could tie a chatterbait on. I could cut the chatterbait off. I could tie a, a pitching jig on here. Um, I could throw braid on this reel as opposed to fluorocarbon. And then I could throw a buzz bait. I could throw a frog. I could throw a Zara spook. Now these are not optimal situations per this rod, but at the end of the day, it will get it done. And so I just named five or six techniques with this one rod. I mean, Seven foot, medium heavy is a must have in my top three, if I can only pick three. All right, so we're gonna set this bad boy down. Um, and then I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna go finesse for a second, all right? A spinning rod, okay? Because I feel like every angler needs to keep one of these at, at short notice. Okay, this is a seven foot two spinning rod, medium heavy. Okay, so much you can do with this. I could throw a small jig, a shaky head, a drop shot, a wacky, a Nico, um, a floating worm. What else? Um, a split shot rig, uh, which is basically a light Carolina rig. Um, man, the, you know, it, it's endless. You could do a, so much with this. Um, again, there's four or five techniques right there. So now we got about 10 techniques covered in just two rods, all right? So, a seven foot to a seven foot two medium heavy action spinning rod with some braid on it and a fluorocarbon leader. You can do all what I just named right there, all in one go, all right, boom. That's gonna be my finesse style rod to get all my finesse applications done. All right, we got one more rod to pick. What am I gonna choose? I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pick up I'm looking for it. It's probably on the back side. Because, oh yeah, it is. Here it is. Let's come back here. And it wants to be stuck behind the spinning rod. Hey, these are the issues we have to deal with when we film it. <laughs> y'all usually don't get to see this, but this is raw. I'm letting y'all get this raw. I just got that rod all caught up. Couldn't get it out. All right. Last but not least, a 7.3, okay? Now, I would say somewhere between 7.3 or 7.2 and 7.6. And this is gonna be like your meat and potato rod. Throw you some 20 pound fluorocarbon on here and you could throw a jig, okay? You could throw a swim bait, like a, a hollow belly on like a big half ounce, three quarter ounce jig head or on like a flashy swimmer or like a beast hook, belly weight, right? A glide bait you can throw on this. Uh, a Carolina rig you can throw on this. A frog you can throw on this, which we talked about the frog earlier, but you can also throw them on this. Um, what else? A buzz bait. There's just so much, again, there's, it's, it's almost not limitless, but there's a lot you can get done. A deep diving crankbait, okay? A square bill, if you had to throw a square bill, you could, you could get away with it on this rod. 
a little lighter fluorocarbon, you could get it done cranking with this rod right here. That's one technique I left out, but you could get it done with this rod right here. I mean, there you have it, man. I'm standing in between seven foot and seven six with all three between a, a one spinning rod, two bait casters, go to Walmart, wherever you need to go, Bass Pro Shop, Bargain Bennett. It don't have to be top end, high end, expensive stuff. It just needs to be within those three actions, in my opinion, to get so much done. And at the end of the day, you know what the number one thing is? I'm gonna leave y'all with this. The number one thing is getting off the couch and actually going fishing and not being on the internet watching me right now. And I appreciate y'all. But look, take everything I said, go take it to the pond, man, and put it to use. Those three will get it done. That's my top three. If I can only pick three, I'll see y'all in the water.